good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We are live from Larnaca, sunny Cyprus. Cablenet Sports presents the hotly anticipated and very first CGC MMA event. Fighting in the blue corner from Cyprus. Weighing at 61 kilograms, Konstantinos Leonidou. His opponent in the red corner, fighting from the United Kingdom, Super Shane Campbell. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Cage Glory Championships, the beginning here in Larnaca, sunny Cyprus. Tonight's card will feature five international bouts streamed live around the world by Cablenet Sports. Dean, this looks to be a fantastic matchup. Oh, the buzz around the arena here. I mean, even the cage is a brilliant cage. We're in for an ecstatic night of fights. Oh, it's a fantastic cage. Great size, giving the athletes plenty of room to move around. I'm Rob Nutley, alongside me, Dean Midhat, taking you through the action this evening. Shane opening up with those low kicks, just picking on that front leg. Campbell, a very experienced amateur. Stepped up to the pro ranks in style, but came up short in his last fight, so he's looking to make a statement here in Cyprus. So far, both men just feeling one another out. Neither willing to engage. As I said, that Shane lands a right. Moving range, going up and down. Leonardo just sitting on the outside, maybe waiting for that counter. Shane's got some fast hands as well, but he's consolidating the information here. You see, he's, he's skipping back out range. He's, he's trying to touch him with his hands to gauge the range with the hands as well. And then he'll fire with speed. At the, this point in time, he's looking for ins and outs. He's looking for that right hand. Beautiful work from Shane. Straight down the pipe. Leonardo quite static when he strikes. He's allowing Shane to be the one putting in the movement. Beautiful kick again from Shane. Picking away at that lead leg. Again, nice left hand as Leonardo comes in. Leonardo switching range. Goes up, goes down. Little low kick. Leonardo's got a nice level change as well. He uses that to disguise that leg kick. He'll fake the level change and then blast that lead leg. He's done his homework as well because Campbell's very fast on the outside. He's got very fast feet as he switches stances. So what he's trying to do there is take the spring out of his step, but nice double leg takedown outside trip here from Campbell. Beautiful work. Takes it to the canvas, but the arm bar. Leonardo very quick to set about. The Campbell's got to stack in this position. He's got to stack his opponent up, put the knee in the face, and try and edge that elbow out to get out of danger. There we go. He's out. Beautiful work. Now he's got to avoid the triangle. Excellent awareness from Shane Campbell. That's right. Coming out of the Great British top team, he'll have some fantastic sparring partners, both stand-up and ground game. He'll be used to this kind of position, but Leonardo just trying to work that arm, trying to maybe adjust the legs. Goes to close guard. And when I asked Campbell who his in inspiration was, he said Francis Ngannou. Hearing that story, and any fight story like that, just allows him to have the, the tenacity and the drive to achieve his goals. Leonardo switches, looks for the leg submission here. Not quite sure what he's going to work for. Doesn't quite get it, scrambles. Back into the guard position of Leonardo. Campbell came into this fight very calm and collected, very confident as well. He's actually got family here in Cyprus, so he's going to visit them before and after the fight. And I think that really allowed his demeanor to kind of calm and be ready for this fight and get in that psychological zone of optimal functioning. From here, though, he's got to pass the guard. He's posturing out these triangle exchanges. He's got to free the hands and try and pass the leg into a more dominant position where there's more submissions and, and he's able to do more damage. And remember, this is the pro rank, so we can drop elbows from side control, Rob. Yeah, when he was in his standing position as well, he was a lot more 
comfortable at the moment. It's Leonardo just trying to work those arms, trying to find one that he can pull in and trap and keep Campbell tied up. This was the game plan for Campbell as well, to take this fight to the ground. You know, Leonardo is a great striker as we saw some of his kicks. He's got some powerful, he's got a nice right hand as well. So it's a smart play for Campbell to take him down. Campbell needing to pass that guard, doesn't quite get there. Needs to be very careful. You almost feel that Leonardo's waiting, just setting that trap. Yeah, he's looking to overhook the arms as well. He's looking to create an angle. You see, he switches his hips to look for the arm bars as well as sweeps. And there's them elbows. But Campbell's done the work. He's been here before, you know, training out of Great Britain top team. You know, you can't help but get better for in that camp. He's done he's done extensive work on the ground. He's worked on his boxing. He's worked on his submission defences, as we're seeing here. Again, posturing up, keeping himself out of the danger zone. But Leonardo just keeping hold of those arms. Tries to put him back in. Campbell strikes from the stand-up position. And there's the bell, end of the first round. There's a great feel-out round, both on its feet and on the ground. Felt both men had their moments. Campbell sticking to the game plan again. Great outside trip, straight to the top position. Stayed in guard, we couldn't do that much damage. And to, for me, for him to pass the guard would be beneficial because he's not looking for the ground and panning. He's not defending the submission attempts. If he's in a better position, there's going to be less submissions available from Leonardo off his back. Looking at the replay, you can see the exchange. Beautiful trip, that, Dean. Wonderful outside trip. Shot, double leg, trap the leg, immediately in the top position. He's looking to free that arm as well. At this point, see what I'm saying? He's getting tied up and he gets caught in submissions when he's in the guard. So if he can look to pass the guard in this second round, he can do more damage. Now round two here, let's see if we the trigger being pulled by Campbell to get the fight to the ground. And Leonardo's got to work ground and pound tactics here and sprawl and brawl. So if he's on the top position, he's got to slam those punches down. If he's on his feet, he has to work the circular motions, the lateral movements, and also the sprawls to set those hands up. Again, beautiful takedown, shoots and gets it. But inside that guard again, Dean, could prove dangerous. Yeah, Campbell again sticking to the game plan, gets the takedown. Eight and elbow in the full guard, but he's got to try and excommunicate himself from this position. You know, the guard's open. He could literally stand up, tornado pass, pass the side control. But from here, he's in a risk of getting the, over, the overhooks and, you know, the arm bars and the triangles and sweeps also. But if he can pass the guard, he's going to have more success. Yeah, Leonardo looking pretty comfortable on his back. Looking to find those opportunities. Shane just trying to get on the outside. Good work by Leonardo. That, that guard of his, he plays it very well. This is another danger as well for Campbell. The ref came in there and asked for some more action. You know, that should prompt Leonardo to hold on and then force a stand-up. He's a great striker, and we already know that Campbell wants to take this fight to the ground, so why not force a stand-up? Yeah, Campbell pops his head through, escapes the danger. Nice short elbows. Needs to be careful. There's the guard pass opportunity. Those elbows open that up. All he had to do was to bump the hips forward and then pass the side control. He's got to use those ground and pound opportunities to, to open the guard so he can pass into a better position. Then he doesn't have to worry too, about too many submissions from the guard. Beautiful work, couple of strikes land. Again, Campbell just peppering those little shots. Referee looks like he's going to stand them up here. 
short and sharp. Good call by our referee, Mr. Dan Moverheady. Gets them back to their feet. Oh, Imanari roll. He's looking for the <laughs> leg lock. Bit optimistic, Dean. <laughs> that was beautiful. But that's what he's got to do. He's got to think outside the box. He wants to disguise his striking. So he's got to fake the level changes, fake the crazy shots, and also shoot those shots in from unorthodox angles. That uppercut hit him. Oh, he's wobbled. Campbell's got to keep his composure here, Rob. As you said, Leonardo, a dangerous striker. Proving it there, just catching Campbell on the angle. And again, that big right. Campbell again looks to take it down, but Leonardo, beautiful work. Maintains that top position, now he's inside the guard of Campbell. Now he's got to be active, like I was saying, he's got to be active on the ground with the ground and pound, past the guard. You know, he's got great striking, and it does translate to the, to the floor. He's going to have power in those elbows and power in those punches, and it's quite simple. If he passes the guard, he's able to channel more power down onto Campbell. Campbell pulling that leg up high. Robert Gard here for Campbell. There's a vast array of submissions here. Triangles, go go platters, for instance. Usually commands immense flexibility from the guy on the bottom trying to, trying to utilize this, but Campbell's having no trouble here holding the leg up. And he's breaking the posture, which is really important. It prevents his opponent able to, his ability to posture up and land down more decisive strikes. Yeah, it's good work by Campbell. He's possibly forced to stand up. Leonardo back to his feet. Campbell switches. Doesn't quite get the underhook. He's, look, he's looking for the invert for the leg lock, but decided against it. I think that's smart play. In mixed martial arts, you can get punched and elbowed in the face. So rolling for a leg lock is sometimes not the best idea. Campbell needs to be careful as he takes a couple of shots. Leonardo, good work on the top position. Fights his way through to the half guard. Ties an arm up with the knee. Campbell, again, very flexible and agile. He's got great guard retention. Look at that elbow from the bottom. That's Beautiful. what he needs. That may have even caused a cut. No. Walking the guard up nice and high. He's trying to break the posture of his opponent to secure submissions. Ten seconds left to fight for the submission. Oh, big slam from Leonardo. Heavy ground and pound towards the end of the round. Oh, just a little triangle attempt there from Campbell. Great round. Fantastic. The pace starting to step up. Both men looking to get that finish. Great work by both men so far. Again, a round where both had their moments. It's an interesting and well-matched fight. I mean, Campbell's been doing the homework. You know, he's trained really hard. He's coming out of a great Britain top team. But, you know, Leonardo is very skilled. On the ground, he understands where to go. The striking as well has got power. That uppercut connected beautifully. So Campbell's going to have to be careful. He's got to come up with those hands up, and he's got to set the takedown up. More importantly, he's got to pass the guard so he can start to submit and do more damage. Interesting to know how the judges have this scored. As we head into the third round. Touch your gloves. And it's a hard one to call, Dean. You know, there's watching those first two rounds. It's still very difficult to understand which direction this fight will go in. Yeah, this could be the deciding round here. So, you know, Ken Campbell set up the takedown. We know he's got great outside trip as he tries it again. But, you know, you could argue the point here that Leonardo's very aware of that. He's, he's fallen foul to two takedowns so far. He knows Campbell wants to take him down. So, again, sprawl and brawl tactics. He's staying on the outside. And well, there's a double leg from Leonardo. Yeah, Campbell sees it coming, but almost gives up the back as Leonardo tries to get in for the the head and almost in a side headlock position. He's potentially looking for the bulldog choke, which is possible, very possible. We saw Carlos Newton pull this off in the early days of the UFC. But if you're, you can't finish it, you give up your back. As you can see here from the camera angle, if Campbell can get his head out, he can potentially look for the back here. Works with the hips, tries to get the guard. 
from the rear. Does well to do so now looking Here we for go. that neck. Beautiful work. He understood there that he had the unhook and now he's going to hunt for the back. He's got to get the arm underneath the chin, but again, using the strikes to disguise the submission is going to be key here. Look at that defense, Rob. Beautiful work. Manages to get that turn. Could have been in some real trouble there. Some deep water. Now, how is this looking in the judges' eyes as well? You know, Campbell on top initially, but he's given up the bottom position. And if Leonardo could stay here, do enough damage to keep the ref happy, he could steal the round. Leonardo, that top position. Campbell on his back. Just working that closed guard. In a very difficult position up against the cage there, Dean. Very difficult to be able to shift your hips. And as I said that, he just shifts it slightly to the left. It's very difficult to get that movement you need there. Yeah, he's going to look for the angle for the submission. He could also get back to his feet here, but if he can gain an angle and use the, the fence to walk around, he could look for arm bars and triangles. Just trying to turn those hips. Needs to open that guard. Get to work. Again, climbing up high with the legs. Referee asking for some more action. Campbell's trying to walk around for that armbar. But I, I'd kind of buy into the what the ref's saying. If I was Campbell, I'd hold on. Oh, he switches Beautiful. around for the armbar. Oh, he doesn't quite keep hold of it. But the problem is now, he, he, if he messes that up, he risks a guard pass. And also, he's still stuck on the bottom. So if it comes down to this last round, he really doesn't want to be off his back and, and showing the judges that he's being controlled. Yeah, the referee looking on closely, calling for a bit more movement from both guys. We could see another stand-up here. Leonardo doing a good job now of trying to get some posture. Now there's the knee slice. That's exactly what he needs to do. Oh, great to the feet. Nice Beautiful. knee. Beautiful. Campbell with a body lock. Campbell's going to play a game of catch up. He's got to get a decisive takedown. Needs to do some damage. Nice knee to the fire. A minute, 20 seconds left on the clock here for round three. Campbell did a great job of, with the head position underneath his opponents. Good work, head under the chin, forcing his weight in that direction. Campbell's got to try and look for this left underhook. Once he can get a body lock on his opponent, double underhooks, he's got much more control and it's going to pay dividends in uh, trying to secure the takedown. The referee called in clear, no low blow. Oh, Indeed. the cage. <laughs> it's good work from both fighters, defensively yeah, and offensively. Yeah, the cage really helped Leonardo there. You know, that would have been a definitive takedown if the cage hadn't been there for Leonardo to have a bit of base. Nice knee though, and he's doing a good job of punching the arm away to prevent the double underhooks. Last few seconds of the round. Campbell's going to pull the trigger here. He's got to go. As the old saying goes, never Beautiful. leave it to the judge's eyes. Look at that. Lovely. Square jab. Last few seconds. Oh. There we are. And what a fantastic first match here at Cage Glory Championships. It's called the beginning. And that was a fantastic three-round match between these two fighters. Very impressive. It's a great way to start the event. I mean, they could have easily been co-main, maybe even main. Brilliant fight, two very skilled fighters, both battling wheels, both battling for the top position. It'll be really interesting to see what the judges have. Again, but the old saying goes, never leave it in the hands of the judges. And I think we could argue here that whoever's on top the most potentially might walk away with a win in this one, Rob. Well, it'll be over to our MC and our judges to find out the official scores for this bout.
looking at the replay again both men striking well that right hand of Campbell's finding a home and a beautiful side trip outside leg trip to canvas beautiful work there was the arm bar that was dangerously close but Campbell did a great job of exposing the stack pulling the arm out of that position so here we go After three rounds of fighting, the judges have come to a decision. We have a split decision. 29-28 for the blue corner. 29-28 for the red corner. And the winner, 29-28, blue corner, Constantinos Leonido!